shaft mounts, you did a bunch of other stuff. You had to bring it to an exhaust shaft to get the exhaust will be made in 90% of the way there, and your clutch master cylinder line gave out, and you're able to drive it and bang the gears to get the shop. If it was an automatic transmission failure, you got to get a tow truck 100% of the time. True. I mean, I mean that's like such like a rare circumstance, though, right? Like you're heavily modifying the car. Like that's why you're having those types of issues, right? I guess if you're if you're modifying your vehicle, it kind of makes sense. You have a manual because generally like, can a manual transmission handle more horsepower? Not always, obviously, but like I know some manual transmissions are dog shit at like handling extra power, but. A lot of times they are better. Uh, that might be some 1980s shit as well. Oi, bruv. No, that was zoomies. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Zonjetto. Yeah, that's the one thing I, I, I seriously just don't understand that Europe does, over, like, the, that the U.S., like... I just don't get it, dude. I don't get, e like, EU and, like, other countries where they have so much so many manuals. Doesn't make sense. It's not about being poor, dude. In the U.S., like manuals, not always, but a lot of times they're they're more expensive. It's considered like a premium option now to have a manual transmission in the U.S. But maybe since that's the norm over there, it's cheaper. I don't fuck. I don't live in. Autos are cheaper in Europe as well. Did people just like choose to drive manual in Europe for some reason? How can we have a delay queue timer people still queue snipe stream snipe? Because there's just people. Use your drone to locate a bomb. In EU, they only drive Audis and BMWs. I'm pretty sure the average person does not just drive an Audi or BMW. I, there probably are people that do, like quite a few, but... Yeah, I know the only thing you can get a manual on in the US is like Mustang... Allinger Camaro. Um, honestly, for sports cars, for manual transmissions, like really, what can you even get nowadays? Ten seconds to insertion. Five seconds. I know back in the day, an automatic transmission like used to be considered a premium option, but not anymore. Now it's the opposite. It's a manual is considered a premium. I would say there's like what? There's Porsche. There's like American America muscle cars. Like Porsche has a few models that have made so. the 911 does. Um, the Cayman, right? Still has a manual, I believe. Um, obviously Mustang, Challenger, Camaro. M3, right? M3, and I think the M5 do from BMW. Maybe some certain Audi vehicles. Want Tesla to have a manual transmission option?
Yeah. American muscle, baby. I went in and just went off. From what you know, most EU vehicles are manual transmission because fuel is so expensive there, and manual transmissions historically have been more fuel efficient. But now that automatic transmissions are more fuel efficient, manual transmissions will slowly start to die out. That that's probably like a pretty good explanation. That would actually make tons of sense, honestly. Am I going to trade my truck for a minivan, buddy? Nope. I love having a pickup truck, dude. I do. You want to get a 135i that has an N54 motor in it? Ooh. It's like the New Age 2JZ. Hmm. Your drone has found a bomb. I don't know, dude. What's that, Oscar? You know what the weirdest thing that, I, that I'll ever see online is? I always see people who say, like, oh, most people that have pickup trucks don't need pickup trucks. And, like, sure, that's true, but, like, you also don't need, like, 90% of the vehicles or 90% of the things you do. A lot of people that buy pickup trucks, like myself included, do it because, like, it's just fucking nice to have the extra utility when you need it. Right? It's nice to have four-wheel drive, nice to have a truck bed that you can throw shit in, be able to tow when you need to tow. You don't have to go, like, rent or, like, you know, a different of a different vehicle for the day or whatever it is, we just go and pick it up. Right. Off-roading. I mean I don't off-road at all. And my truck's not even an off-roading type of truck, but I mean the options there, I guess, if you were like you know, for some people to they buy them. I don't know. It's always weird though. Like you'll always see people complain about like people buying like a pickup truck, for example. But then they'll have like no problem with somebody buying like I don't know, a Mustang that has 500 horsepower, right? Or 600 horsepower that's like modified and gets like worse fuel economy. I have a pickup truck for the channel to drive to get in the driver's seat. Guys, hold up. I'm gonna go around. I'm just gonna go for the kill. Fuck it. Oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Oof. That's a demoralizer right there. That's a demoralizer.
That's a feels good clip. We need to locate a bomb. Mm hmm. Your drone has found a bomb. That was a, that that was a feels good moment, dude. I think they're done, dude. Their mental is shocked at this point. Oh, I thought I hit that shot. This guy hit it, I guess. Oh, I think I hit him at the exact same time. I I did hit him, but it was just... I hit his dead body. <laughs> he got dropped at the exact same second that I shot him. Well, hey. We're doing great anyway. Yep. I don't know though, dude. I, I I have to say, I hated pickup trucks. I used to make fun of pickup trucks so much as a kid. Like, I don't know. Then you actually, when you're like older and you realize how much utility they have and how nice it is to have that utility on hand at all times. Oh shit! It's so nice, dude. The bombs. Hell yeah, brother. Be caught, snooze, buddy. Uh, it's Anti. They have 52 month resub. Welcome back. Thank you very, very, very much for the 52 months. Thank you. Thank you. 
did. Hope they do now. I mean, well, the thing is now, too, is like pickup trucks, they're not, before you used to have to like massively sacrifice like, like fuel economy and like comfort and like you don't, you don't have to like sacrifice any of that anymore really. Like, I mean, obviously a little bit of fuel economy and a little bit of comfort, but dude, like you get like a nice like loaded up pickup truck with like, uh, you know, like the, the like the luxury versions, right? Like a Denali or something like that. Like that's what I have. They have like uh, magnetic suspensions and stuff on them now. Where where it's like luxury car levels of like comfortable, dude. It's like very comfortable and like very good. It is surprising how well it rides. Obviously, is it like you know a Mercedes? You know, you know, quite maybe not quite that far, but you know, for a pickup truck, it's really fucking comfy. Like you don't feel the bumps in the road. It's very smooth, like nice ride. I mean, I get, you know, 20 miles per gallon highway, which is not, you know, Zutex, 18 months, hey mom, we made it, thank you very much, welcome back, Zutex. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, there's not, like, as many downsides, before it was, like, you sacrificed having, like, a nice interior, like, comfort, fuel economy, I mean, now, like, you can get the nicest interior, like, possible, you know, pretty much in a pickup truck, if you're willing to spend the money, right? You can get... A really nice comfortable ride and get good fuel economy comfortable ride and still have like the bad space and like towing capabilities and like everything else I don't think I was like there. Lincoln? No, dude. The, the Lincoln pickup truck is like, they don't even make that anymore. They make like, you can get like the F-150 in like a platinum trim or whatever it is. Now that's like the equivalent or there's like a, isn't there like, there's some other trim level. I don't know what it's called. It's called like a, I don't know. I think it's like a Harley Davidson edition or something. I don't fucking know. There's like some like, No, it's not like the Lariat. The Platinum is better than Lariat. This is a higher trim than Lariat. It might just be Platinum. Maybe it is Lariat. I don't I think I thought Platinum was like the highest trim level that you can get. Maybe, yeah, King Ranch. That's it. That's it. Secure the area. Keep the bomb no, they don't make the Lincoln anymore. Or whatever. Take a truck. Yeah, that's like the fancy version. Richard Hammond daily drives an F-150. They're the best. Dude, I'm telling you. Pickup trucks fucking rock for a daily vehicle. I love mine. Limit is now the highest. Oh, so they got rid of uh, King Ranch. Now it's just limited. I thought there's Platinum is the highest trim level. I don't know. I'm about to like, look this shit up. Oh, the Lincoln Blackwood? Dude, there's actually, so, like, people who, like, have those. So I, I see those on the road occasionally. They only sold, like, I think a couple of thousand of those things. But there's a few, like, I live in Detroit, which is, you know, or GM in Chrysler country, right? Or whatever, Ram. So, I mean, there's, there's actually a few people that drive those things around. <laughs> nice smiley. And it's ready. Maverick? Um, 
I mean, I think it's a good card too. Yeah, like the, I think it's good. Like the smaller pickups though, I'd, I'd rather just get a full size at that point. Cause like, you do save some money. You do save some money by getting like a Maverick, but it's not like a crazy amount really anymore. Like, I don't know. It goes King Ranch Platinum Limited. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, I thought King Ranch was the highest trim level, and then, like, you know, Platinum. I know because my dad got an F-150 Platinum, and it's, like, I, I believe it was, like, the highest trim level. Like, he always gets, you know, pretty low. He drives a shit ton, I just explained, basically, but he drives between, you know, over 50,000 miles a year. So if you're spending that much time in your vehicle, then you're probably going to want to get a nice one. Right? I mean, assuming you can afford it and stuff, right? Oh, we don't have a fucking Jaeger. That is fortifying. A Range Rover? Um, no. I have a pickup truck. I'm good with that. What's this guy having? Oh, I'm peeking, buddy. Dude, this guy's already pushed up. Like, oh, there's just no fear. I've been located by op four. Uh, what is fifty thousand miles? Fifty thousand miles to. Kilometers, comrade. Uh, 80,000 80, kilometers, comrade. 80,000 kilometers a year, comrade. All right. I am going to bring Walden. Let's, let's get this. Close this out here. Comrade, the entire world uses metric outside of the U.S. That's right, buddy, because the U.S., we got freedom here, okay? We had our own stuff. We don't listen to what the communists use. Secure the that is unlucky, way close. Freedom units, chat. Mm -hmm. Yep, sure thing, buddy. Death and Fahrenheit stands for freedom, but yep, that's a sure thing. The F and F one fifty means freedom. It does. It does. Okay, Zoom me speaks freedom, okay? Dude, I do not like this. Like, chaos. A drone. Oh, too short.
Dude, I actually want to get ridiculous with the shotgun over here. There's a dude over here. Yeah, there it is. This guy, why he's just sitting right there, man. I thought he was further back. Uh. All friendlies were eliminated. Yeah. What an odd player. Oh, uh, the games are going okay, don't know. We've had a lot of cheaters today. Like, a fucking lot of cheaters today. It's been really bad. If I killed that guy, we win, we win that game. Is this gold? Nope. Uh, I'm about to get my rank right now, and I'm going to probably end up placing plat 1, right? Isn't plat 1? Well, if we lose, I might end up as plat 2. I think if I win, I end up as plat 1. If I lose, I end up as plat 2. This is my third account. I'm ranking it... Uh, Whatever, playing my placements right now. All right, we're gonna get wild, chat. New feet up. Uh, I'm just gonna solo, yeah. Uh, would I get an electro truck? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, like, intend to gen probably get an electric vehicle after this. I want to get um, an electric pickup truck. There's the new electric F-150 is coming out. There's the um, electric Silverado and Sierra are rumored to be coming out pretty soon. Um, you know, there's going to be... I'm sure at some point an electric Ram, um, you know... If the Cybertruck ever actually comes out at the end. Um, no, too expensive for what it is, in my opinion. I mean, unless there was, like, really good deals on them, I would not buy one. I'll probably get an electric F-150 or an electric, uh, Silverado or, or Sierra. Rivian truck? The Rivian truck can't crab walk. That's the electric Hummer you're thinking of. Um, I don't know. The electric Hummers are really nice. I would love to get one. They're honestly just really expensive, man. They're like 113 grand, which is like pretty crazy. What sound was that? Um, that's the uh That is the uh, bulletproof cameras. Of course, this guy just knows. He has a cam in here. I heard him getting on and off of it. I better have gotten marked. Okay. Fuck me, dude. <sighs> guy's standing in front of an open breach. Like, what? Hello? You okay, dumbass? He's trying to get through it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I threw a C4.
Legacy 4? No. He got killed. Unlucky, dude. Five seconds remaining. Oh, he actually got it. <laughs> That's what you get for baiting. That's what you get for baiting. Get fucked. Get fucked. Yep. Dude, this these other guys were not even covering, like, at all. That's what they get for waiting the entire round to make a push. Alright, cool. I get my sniper rifle back. I like being able to move maestro cameras, yep. I don't know why that guy just didn't walk up and whack the camera. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. Play glass, please. Absolutely not. That operator's dog shit. Your drone has found a bomb. I don't know, dude. I, I, I will say, though, I was a pickup truck denier as a kid. I used to fucking make fun of everybody that had a pickup truck so much. Why would you ever get a pickup truck? I used to tell my dad that, too. I don't know. You, you eventually, you learn, you learn what's up, dude. You learn what's up. I'm telling you, they're fucking great. Especially once there's electric pickup trucks and stuff. Especially once there's electric pickup trucks, it's gonna be like, there's literally zero downsides at that point. Now I'll go for this side. Now I'll go for this side. Shit. Plan B. Let's go kill them all. Here are downsides except when towing. That is true. There is less towing capacity, but it still has pretty good towing capacity. It's not like you have zero towing capacity. You do lose some, though. Uh, e fuse fade. Thank the sub. No, you actually legitimately do. It depends on the vehicle, I guess. Like and how they. I mean, I know the electric Hummer, for example, is. Um, it has like lower towing capacity than like similarly like weighted vehicles and stuff. But <clears throat> part of that is also because. Oh. Okay. Cool. I guess it just bounced. Sir, do you have anything to burn with? Because we're going to have to push through a doorway. Uh, hold up. I have a drone. I'll burn, I'll burn with my drone. close left oh that's when the fucking that's when the caliscope fucks you round 
to nine. Yeah, I, I all I know is like, I don't even know about that. Maybe electric motors are great for towing. I actually don't even fucking know. All I remember is I remember reading, I read this like review of, uh, I read this one reviewer, it was like about the Hummer and it not being able to tow like anywhere near like what a similarly sized vehicle could tow. They're heavy as shit. But the thing is, like, the new Hummer is not really built for towing. It's built more for, and geared more for off-roading. So, I don't know. I love the new Hummer, Secure electric Hummer, by the way. I would totally fucking buy one of those things if it was, like, not 120 grand. No, the new Hummer is electric. It's $120,000. It weighs 10,000 pounds, and it has 1,000 horsepower, and it's 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Dude, that thing is a fucking lethal vehicle. Can you imagine a fucking, like, dude, just get Hummer to sponsor me? I actually I actually did uh, a sponsored introduction or presentation for, like, when the Hummer EV got launched. They don't, they didn't give me a Hummer, though. They just, you know, it was very nice of them. They paid me, and I got to do the introduction. I already knew everything because I was, like, following it for a while, but I obviously love cars, so. Yep, I should have asked for a free car. My mistake. Yeah, I know it takes a lot of battery. That's for sure. What was that? I was like, oh my god, that's so annoying. Didn't that now look like he was on the other side? Am I just going crazy, chat? Be real with me here. Am I going crazy? Well, okay, I know I'm going crazy, but didn't it look like it came from the other side? Maybe. Okay, it did look like him. Yeah. Yep. Dude, all I'm saying is, I've seen one of the electric Hummers on the road already. That thing does 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. That's the same 0 to 60 time as a Corvette C8. Okay? And that and the, and the new electric Hummer weighs like 9,000 pounds. Can you imagine, like, can you imagine someone driving that vehicle that just has no fucking clue about, like, the power that that car has and it drives like a fucking maniac and, like, runs into, like, I don't know, a Miata? Like, that Miata is, like, gone. Like, there's literally zero chance of survival. Dude, that person's doing, like, that person's doing 100 miles an hour in, like, four or five seconds in a fucking 10,000-pound vehicle. You are literally dead. That that's like, dude, that's crazy. The Mustang Mach E. Oh, that's actually a great car. I've been inside of one. They're actually really nice. Nice. My team is insane. We still win those. Uh, better now. Uh, still surgeries and stuff. Still surgeries. Dude, it is scary. Someone, someone in a Toyota Tundra, uh, hit. This was like a, like probably like close to a couple years ago now. But my, uh, oh, I got my rank. Hey, flat one. Somebody in a Toyota Tundra was texting and driving and head-on collided with uh my cousin. She and her husband. For their one year anniversary were driving to northern california and they got hit head-on by some dude texting in a toyota tundra and they like almost died 
They like literally have had like 50 surgeries and are still not back 100%, but they're doing like way better now. But, dude, that's what's like crazy. That's like the one thing that I don't like about like smaller vehicles. That is like the thing that I don't like about smaller vehicles, man. They're so scary. They're so, they're so scary, man. Like if you get hit by like a big, like a pickup truck or something. And the thing is like most people are like decent drivers, right? They're sensible, decent drivers, but the ones that are bad, they stick out so bad. They really do. Right. They were in like a Kia. They were in like a Kia, like a small Kia car. I think they like rented a car because they were like over on miles or something. I don't think the other car they had was very big either, though. Like I think they had like a sedan or something. Would I ever get a motorcycle? Never. Never. Well, I guess never say never, but never. <laughs> uh, it's not because I don't like motorcycles. I love motorcycles. I like the idea of them. They're fucking cool. But do I trust some asshole texting and driving to not hit me while I'm driving on a motorcycle? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I have zero faith in my fellow drivers. That is a nice thing, yeah. If you have a, tr if you have a, a big... If you have a truck or something like that, then, you know, you could fit a lot of stuff inside of it. Um, it's safe. Nice. 